Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, thank you to Exchange for Media for the warm introduction and uh, for hosting us all today. And thanks to all of you for, for joining us for the uh, sessions today. Um, let me... Okay, we're up and running. Uh, as mentioned, I'm Gavin Buxton, so I lead up Magnite for Asia, um, including South Asia and, and India. Um, and really delighted today to share with you um, a first look of some research that we're actually only launching today. So this is genuinely hot off the press um, to share with you all. Um, we did an in-depth uh, study into the digital um, uh, video streaming uh, audience in India, and we're really delighted to share that with you today. Uh, let's check. Uh, the click is not working. Uh -huh. uh. Okay. Um, so first of all, the, those that are less familiar with Magnite, um, just a short introduction. Uh, so Magnite, um, we pride ourselves on being the largest independent omni-channel supply-side platform, SSP. Um, we partner with uh, broadcasters and media owners um, to provide services, tools, um, and technology uh, to best enable them to monetize their content across screens um, and across formats. Um, so those formats include digital streaming, um, OTT and CTV, uh, display, video, digital out of home, uh, and audio. And we also partner with um, agencies and brands to ensure that they can best connect with brand safe, uh, premium quality uh, inventory. Uh, when it comes to India, um, we've been servicing and proud to service clients here in Mumbai and across India across a number of years um, with continued growth in this area. And off the back of that, we're actually opening up our Mumbai office um, going into next year. We have our first person on the ground, Karnika, who's here today. And we actually have six open roles. So we're, we're proud to be uh, servicing partners in India and, and proud to be in India um, in, in the coming months and being part of the community uh, and giving back into that. And part of that is uh, running the research that we have done as to how we can educate uh, and evangelize in the areas that we participate in. Um, in, in diving into the study that we undertook, um, we, uh, we partnered with... Uh uh, Dynata uh, is a research uh, company uh, globally. Um, it has presence here in India. Um, the, study, the study had uh, 2,500 interviewers um, were part of it, um, looking to be an Indian representative audience, of so an adult uh, audience. Um, it is focused on viewing, so uh, focused on TV viewing, streaming, um, that people were connected online uh, and categorized under NCC as AB households in tier one, two, three, and four cities. Um, the study will be released. You can use the QR tone that's outside um, to download that, and it goes into the full depths of, of the study. Um, before diving into it, um, something that was asked of us is to um, clarify. Okay, got the hang of it. Uh, video streaming. So video streaming represents any TV or movie content watched over the internet or uh, through a connected device. Before I carry on, I thought before we go into our own research and to get you guys moving a little bit, I thought I'd ask of yourselves, uh, based on the definition of video streaming, if I can get people to put their hands up who's um, streaming at the moment through the internet their TV content. If you could raise your hands up if, this, if you fall into this category. Uh, watching uh, TV content and streaming. Okay, I'd say about 60, 70% of the audience uh, within that. Um, another thing to define in this is which is OTT and CTV. So up here we have the, the definition of video streaming, uh, which also falls into over the top of the delivery of content. Um, that is into any device. So here that could be into desktop, into mobile, into tablet. A subcategory that's important to distinguish is then connected TV, CTV. Uh, and this is content that's delivered um, into um, your big screen at home, either for a smart TV uh, or through a set-top box or a, a gaming console. And a number of the providers there, including uh, Netflix as well. 
Um, so six key takeaways I wanted to touch on today. Uh, firstly, uh, streaming is for everyone. So for our research, we're seeing that it's hit a mass audience. Um, secondly, streaming is preferred uh, versus TV for the connected users that are out there. Uh, thirdly, mobile, um, obviously uh, mobile conference is the lead device um, within that with CTV being a growth area. Um, ad funded is the preferred method of actually people accessing the content in terms of how they want to uh, be able to receive it. Um, when it comes to the ads in these environments, they're proving hugely attentive and effective in the outcomes they drive. Uh, and lastly, live streaming um, is becoming uh, mainstream, that being news, sports, linear, TV. So I'm going to dive into each of these um, over the course of the next 10 minutes. Um, so a, a key highlight that was uh, identified in the study straight off the bat is 72% of people who live in urban areas uh, with internet uh, uh, access our streamers. So pretty much back to the audience base that we saw today uh, in, this, in, the, in the room, 72% uh, of people are streaming. Um, what does that represent in terms of an actual number? Well, um, eMarketeer ran a research as well, and our, our, our data is collaborating with this, um, that over 450 million um, uh, internet users are streamers um, in India, so a significant amount. So this is where we kind of really call out that streaming has come of age and has hit scale in India. Um, Additionally, uh, some uh, information about the streamers. Um, they skew to a few key profiles that, that we see. Uh, firstly, they're young, um, educated, uh, tech savvy, um, generally urban, um, live in a household with children, um, and highly engaged across other devices, internet devices as well. In diving into this data a little bit more, um, starting from the top left here, um, in looking at the uh, age demographic. So one of the reasons we say that streaming is for everyone, um, you'll see here that that demographic age profile is very similar to India as a whole. So streamers are across all age brackets. And within India, obviously, there's a younger skew as well. Um, so we're seeing that as well in the uh, data for streamers. So 73% are falling into the 17 to 44-year-old category. Um, gender's much in alignment with India as a whole, um, as, as is region. On a, on a tiering basis of cities, the big metros and mini metros um, is where there's a higher skew of, of the streamer audiences. Um, on a marital basis, 70% are married, similar to, to India as well, when you apply it to a kind of younger skew. Um, and a household size, 65% um, um, have uh, kids uh, younger than 18, children younger than 18 at home. Um, diving into um, the preferences of streamers. So 66% uh, of streamers prefer watching TV um, services. 66% of streamers prefer watching through streaming devices uh, versus traditional TV. So some of the reasons on this that are shown is that um, original um, and variety of content is one of the reasons. Um, the ease of seeing shows that we know in terms of picking and VOD environments, um, when we're on Netflix or, or Disney Plus Hotstar or others, the ease of picking the shows we want is, is far easier. And I think we're all susceptible to binge watching. So it's another reason that people uh, are diving into streaming over traditional TV. Um, in terms of how much are uh, people streaming this year versus last year, 75% um, of streamers are streaming more than they were a year ago. Um, again, the content is a big part of that. Um, there's more options against that, and some of that's around language as well. There's more options to watch in the language you prefer. Um, uh, better data plans are becoming a part of that, and more time. So the last two are really around mobile. In terms of those data options and having more time than we had before is really helping drive the stream of growth into the mobile side. Um, so we're seeing huge growth already. What can we expect to see for the year ahead? Well, 66% of people have said that they're planning on uh, streaming more um, in the year ahead. So this, this category is, is growing a lot already and only going to grow further. Uh, what does that mean in amount of hours? Well, um, from a, a perspective of amount of hours to streaming, it's 18.5 hours a week are being uh, consumed through streamers. So a significant amount of time. But that's not to say they're not spending time elsewhere. Um, they're very cross-media uh, consumption-led. Um, so linear TV is still a big part of what they're doing, user-generated content, social networking. They're all clocking up about 16 hours each. Overall, video consumption across all these areas is accounting to 66 hours a week. Um, but streaming taking a big uh, part of that. 
Um, going into a little bit more depth of detail around the content that's being consumed, uh, on the left here is the actual uh, types of shows that are being consumed. So uh, comedy, thriller, action, romance are a big part of the, the, the core categories. Um, I touched on, on language before, and it was, it was brought up before in terms of uh, language of shows and language of ads. Um, streaming is giving the choice to watch the shows that you want to watch and not just being forced to watch through linear. Um, so seeing a broad spread of the languages coming through there um, with the rich diversity in India, um, but the core um, languages that come in the most are still on the English and Hindi side. So next key takeaway that I want to touch on um, is mobile is the lead streaming device. So on the right here is the devices that are being used um, and the amount of time being spent per week. So 88% of people are streaming on their mobile device um, and up, watching up to nine hours a week. Um, so this is to be expected, as we touched on before, the reduction in data plans, watching what you want, when you want on the go, um, is being a big influence into the amount of time people are spending on mobile with streaming today. Um, from a perspective of CTV, it is a growth area. We're actually seeing 63% of um, streamers are watching on CTV. A big factor of this is um, smart TVs. Um, with the likes of Samsung, Xiaomi, uh, as people are upgrading their TV sets, we're starting to see more streaming taking place at home um, and up to eight hours per week within this environment. Set-top boxes and consoles are, are a driver of that as well. Um, something that does come up um, when it comes to streaming, um, I, I think especially from uh, the US where we also do a lot of business, um, is that when it, when it came to mobile streaming, people kind of had a perception that in CTV it's a, a bigger and better experience and then for advertising, is it going to be the same when it comes to mobile? So we asked this question actually off the back of other markets where we've run the study um, for brands and for agencies is what's the perception of the experience uh, for people when they're in mobile versus um, in the big screen CTV? So you can see here, um, on smartphones, 88% of people are saying it's a good or very good experience um, versus 87% in smart TV or standard TV. So from a consumer or viewer perspective, you're watching at home with your, your earphones in close up or you're watching back with a, a screen further away, the perspective is pretty much the same. If anything, when you're on your own, you're less interrupted. So we're seeing that that experience in smartphones is just as good as what people perceive on the big screen as well. So something to take note for advertisers when they're considering this. Um, in terms of when it comes to CTV, um, as has been done in traditional, it's also worth calling out that it is a shared experience when it is on the big screen. So we're seeing that people are still sharing that with their partners, with their children, uh, when they're consuming on CTV. Um, this is something for consideration in CTV in the future for measurement. Uh, when we look at it on a digital level, we, we look at it a one by one, but there's actually probably a multiplier that could be applied here. Um, so we've seen that you know streaming is, is grown, it's only getting bigger, it's only going to get bigger. Um, a key area of that is how are people planning on consuming it? How are they consuming it um, today? Um, so the question here is what's your, your preference in terms of that value exchange of how you're going to uh, receive that content? So 41% of people are calling out that they prefer free, um, which is ad funded, and um, there's no cost to them. 39% uh, of people are looking at an ad light option. They're open to spending some money on a subscription, um, but they'd rather that fee is reduced and they can have some advertising within it. And there's only 20% of um, viewers in India are actually calling out that they want ad free experiences. So the perception within viewing that people don't want ads um, is not the case, as we can see here. The value exchange is well understood um, from previous free-to-air experiences and you know, lowering costs. People are open to ads in these environments. They, in fact, welcome them if it gives them great content to view. Um, one of the things to call out is the, what's the average amount of uh, subscriptions that people are, are, are leaning into today. Uh, the actual number on that at the moment is five. Um, so three of those are actually free, um, so completely um, ad funded. Uh, one of them falls into the ad light category. And then one of the five people are subscribing for ad free. Some of that may be because there's not a choice yet. We know that Netflix is about to launch their um, ad light option. So this could actually change even further as those services come to, um, to light. Uh, additional question we asked was how many, hour, uh, how many minutes per hour are you open to uh, having ads for the hour of content? So this, this was an open question. It wasn't forced. So this is self-declared. Viewers were saying when it came to an ad light option, they were open to 8.3 minutes of ads per hour. 
Um, additionally, if it was um, a free service offering, they're open to close to 11 minutes per hour. So viewers are declaring that open to the, it's not like one minute or two minute, um, just give me enough that I can watch the free content. There's really that understanding of a value exchange and up to 11 minutes. One thing to call out when it comes to, to kind of free to wear, it is around 10 to 20 minutes per hour. So there is a slight reduction of that expectation, um, but they're still open to ads in these environments. Um, when it comes to advertising, um, another follow-up question we had with it was uh, how receptive um, are um, viewers to advertising? Um, how effective are they? Um, so we asked them a question, um, uh, how, how much attention are they likely to pay to ads in different environments, um, from streaming um, to social uh, to web? And 64% um, fed back that their attention is, is highest likely in streaming. So very strong uh, correlation to them declaring what they'd like to see in the, in the environments where they like to see those ads. 76% um, also um, declared they pay more attention to the ads that are personalized to their lifestyles and interests. Um, there was another question that followed this that said 76% um, like ads that are also relevant to the content they watch. So, Back to the PNG example of having ads in um, the same language as the content you're viewing. Um, people are looking for you to take notice of what you're viewing, what your interests are, and delivering ads that are relevant to you. And they're very receptive to it when you do do it. And the technology does exist, and, and we can help with that, of understanding that audience, the content, their interest, to be able to deliver the best ads to them. Uh, beyond attention, um, we kind of followed the, the funnel of, of what's happening next in terms of outcomes and actions that are taken. So 93% of respondents that have watched streaming ads have taken an action out, off the back of that. Only 3% have declared they haven't done anything off the back of watching a streaming ad. Um, so a huge um, output in terms of the actions taken. Uh, the top three actions there, searched online, visited a website, uh, read reviews. Um, Something to bear in mind in this, especially with mobile, is ensuring there's call to actions to drive that response. Obviously, you, you can click in the streaming mobile environment, so you can use that to your advantage. Um, even when it comes to CTV, you can use QR codes to try and um, uh, navigate that connection with the viewer. 33% um, have actually gone on and made a purchase. So as much as attentiveness, um, that funnel to purchase is very much taking place. Um, the last area that we wanted to call out on the key takeaways was live streaming. It, it came up in some of the topics earlier as well. Um, when it comes to live streaming, that being um, live linear, live news, live sports, it's, it's always been a huge area in, in many countries, I think especially in India with the live sports side of things. 86% um, of streamers prefer to go into the, the live streaming environments rather than their traditional um, TV. Um, so when it comes to the, these live sports, um, it kind of inherently works. If, if, you, if you're going to watch some live sports, if it's the World Cup or otherwise, you're not necessarily going to be at home at the time of watching it. Uh, so being able to watch it on the go is kind of a natural place to go to. And we're seeing that streamers are very much um, adapting and embracing this content. I think this is an area that's kind of underutilized from advertisers to date. A lot of it is the broadcast feed coming into these environments without it necessarily being targeted advertising yet. Um, but we see this as a huge growth area. We've seen it in other markets. Um, and specifically in India with, with sports and news, we see this as a big opportunity ahead for, for broadcasters and for advertisers to connect with audiences. Um, so that comes to back to the, the key takeaways um, for today. Um, as touched on, um, we're really excited to, to share this study. There is an in-depth um, study behind it. Please do use the QR codes that's outside or come and speak to us. Um, but we're seeing huge growth in streaming overall. It is very much reaching all of the um, population segments um, in India with that skew to younger, um, tech-savvy, urban audiences taking place. Um, streaming is their preference over watching traditional TV. And we see that this is only likely to continue um, as people get more connected in India. Uh, mobile is the lead device within that, so it's another area of mobile marketing that can be best be utilized in engaging with audiences. Um, ad funded is the preference in that, and we see that continuing to grow, especially as global providers are opening up ad light -like options. Um, streaming ads are showing that they're effective from the top of the funnel in, in building brands to actually driving the response as well. Um, and live streaming is becoming a mainstream area for consideration. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for, my, uh, for your time. Um, it's been a delight to share this with you. Please do connect with me while I'm here or, or through um, QR code into LinkedIn or, or my email. Um, really looking forward to spending the rest of the day hearing from other people as well. Thank you.